Let's take a look at some of the progress bars. So I'll add in some media here, and let's say we wanted to make this an Instagram video. And we'll keep it 16 by nine for now. Maybe we wanna put some text on the top and bottom. Come over and just type in pro for progress bars. A Couple of different versions. Let me just show you quick. So we have the normal progress bar, and then we have one that has a gradient in here. So let's just get rid of one, and let's just work with this one. I'm just gonna bring it to the end here and drag it all the way out to the other end. It will automatically retime itself so that by the end of the video, the progress bar will fill up completely. We have a couple of settings in here that we can go and change. We can change the thickness of the bar as well as the color of the bar. Close that. And then we can also bring it down similarly like that. So there we go. And if we wanted it to go the opposite way, we could simply just flip it. That's pretty much how those work. Same thing here, but these have a little like and this is set up for 16 by nine, so they're kind of all over themselves. Simply come into heart. We can shift over the heart a little bit and then shift this over and down. There we go. Now, as we go through here, we can see that there's a little bit of motion blur as it comes in. If you like the motion blur, you can keep it. If you wanna shut it off, there's um, settings down here at the bottom for motion blur. You can also change what it says, the fonts, colors, same sort of thing. Then we also have these here that say box. This particular box starts in one corner and works all the way around the outside of the video. So you'd probably wanna come into the video itself and enlarge it. So it went around the edge like that. Everything was filled up. Same sort of thing here. We come in here, we can change the size, but then we also have this start and end and that's kind of where it starts and where it ends. We can shift that. So if we want it to be the other side, we can go 0.5. Now it's gonna start over here. And as you can see, it goes around. Currently, it's just going counterclockwise, but we can come into here and flip this, and now it'll go clockwise. So you have that. And then the other box is going to start in one corner. We take a look here, it starts in one corner and it works to the other corner. This also has the ability to change where it starts, like which corner it starts in. Maybe we want it to start over here and it'll go to the other corner. And we have colors as well. The second version of this would be the exact same thing, but this just has a gradient. So you can go around and change the colors if that's something that you want it to do. Like that. And then for videos that are like 16 by nine or maybe a tall version like this, we also have the ability to use these, which are vertical and it automatically sizes for the, the length of the shot that you're working with. We also have the size, the thickness, and the color. And we can bring this over to one of the sides. So it could work like that. And if you wanted to, you could flip it. So it goes from down up, or up down. There's a second version of these as well. So it would be like a gradient. Let's make it a little thicker so I can actually see it. So you can see it's kind of like a gradient there. Come in, you can change the colors to be whatever you wanted them to be. So maybe something like that. You can also click here and add in other colors if you wanted to add in more than just the two colors that starts with default. So you have that option as well. So as you see here, I've been editing on the cut page. You can also come over to the edit page and do the same exact thing. So I can just bring it to the end, bring it over. And all of the settings are right here in the inspector as long as you have it open. And then the video settings over here so that we can shift this to one side or we can flip it as well and go from the other direction. So something like that.